Well, hello, boys and girls. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom, coming to you live from the basement of my Seattle apartment. Yeah. Uh, so yesterday, yesterday was not the greatest day in the land, my friends. Um, we got things mixed. There we go. So yesterday was not the greatest day in the land. I'm going to give you some picks today again. Um, I think actually the picks I gave out for free did better than my actual Patreon picks. Uh, but we have been kicking butt all year long, so it's okay. You're going to have the odd day, bad day here and there. Um, Philadelphia, Edmonton in the third period yesterday, what was it? like? They looked like they were, I give up, we lost, okay, done. Crazy. I'm off of Edmonton. Remember this now, okay? And I'm going to Perlo's house of spanking today. Uh, remember this. I'm off of Edmonton in regulation from now on. That defense is just absolutely pathetic. It was terrible last night. I had one good game this year, and I have my hopes up. Don't do that. Yeah, not a good idea. But we're going to look at the games for today. We're going to get back on track again. Um, for all of you that sent, uh, five or ten dollars, depending if you wanted the parlay for ten and the pick or just the pick for five, remember, you don't owe me any money because we lost yesterday. Washington. Ah. In the back of my mind, I'm always sitting on with Washington. It's whenever they're playing a poor team, like there's two teams that play down to their competition. <clears throat> Often, the temp in re, in the playoffs, or not not in the playoffs, but in the regular season, the Washington Capitals and the Tampa Bay Lightning, and uh, they did it against Detroit. They got Arizona next, so we'll see what happens. But that was the big pick for the uh, members that are sending their money to Pearls of Wisdom twelve twelve at gmail dot com via email transfer. Uh, if you'd like to connect first, 780-690-1995. 780-690-1995. Just ask for Perlo, and we'll connect. Connect. We can do PayPal, too. Anything. It's fun. I give you the odd extra pick every once in a while. I'll give you live picks uh, while the games are going on, and uh, and of course you get the parlay. We didn't hit the parlay yesterday either because yesterday was garbage. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to Perlis House of Spanking. It's the best there, I said it. Head down here to the Alberta. Ask anybody where Perlis House of Spanking is, and they'll send you there. Right beside it is Chinky's House of Yoga and Pilates. And uh, we like to... We have a little combination thing going there. Go for a spank and do some yoga. Right? Perfect combination. Okay. Let's go look at tomorrow's games. Now, remember, I haven't gone totally in-depth on these. These are free picks. I have put some out, and I can't give you those ones. Sorry. They're paid picks. So. All right. Now... Fairly big card today. Pretty some difficult games. Uh, Boston versus Carolina. Now Boston has Smith and Felino out, and for me that's a little bit troublesome for the Bruins. It's why I took Florida yesterday. One of the picks that I got right, uh, Florida. I. It's why I took Florida yesterday, even with the whole situation with Quinville. I just thought that um, their depth was going to take, take Boston last night, and it did. Now they're playing a back-to-back -back against a Carolina team that's also very deep. Um, I'm, this may end up being a paid pick, but I'm still going over all the details on what I want to do because Swayman will be in net for Boston. And I do believe, although it hasn't been confirmed yet, that it should be Anderson for Carolina. This is a big game. Trend-wise, <clears throat> the Boston Bruins, uh, I might as well show you this. Trend-wise, the Boston Bruins own Carolina. Look at this. They're 9-1-0 in their last 10 games. 
Carolina is 1-8-1 against Boston. Oh, what do you mean? How can that be? Their head-to-head -head record. How could their last 10 be 9-1-0? Oh, okay. Yes, it can. Duh. It's an overtime, lo overtime loss. Uh, but I think the trend changes here. I'm going to go with uh, Carolina. I just think they're the deeper team. They have no, they're, they're hard. They're not injured at all. They're playing lights out. I think it's going to be tight. I wouldn't, uh, I, I, mean, I wouldn't put a lot on it because Boston is da always dangerous. And again, they've got the trend, right? So I'm going to take Carolina. And as far as over under, I'm going to say with Boston having Smith and, uh, and Felino out, um, it'll, it'll be a low scoring game. I think I'm going to say three, one, something like that. So we're going under on that one. Uh, Calgary, Pittsburgh. This is a tough game to cap the Pittsburgh Penguins, except for their last game, uh, which we'll look at here. They got their butt handed to them. Against Tampa Bay, five to one. Um, but besides that, they were having they're having close games. They're winning games that really they shouldn't be winning because they're injured all to heck. Check out the injuries: Carter, Crosby, Latang, Malkin, Rust. I mean, it's incredible. And Calgary is playing like a bat out of heck, and they're already and they're and they are uh, not. They're healthy. Now, the problem is they're, they've, they've played four games in six nights, though. And Pittsburgh is a very resilient team. Four games in six nights in hockey is extremely difficult. I've loved the energy of the Calgary Flames. And I think they're going to play hard. I, I, I have a special pick here that, like I said, if you become a Patreon member, go to Patreon app or Google Patreon and search be pal picks become a patreon member you can have all of these picks all of the picks it's a monthly fee it gives you all of the picks you, it pays you, you it pays itself you're going to be up money uh i have a special pick for this but i think i'm going to lean calgary here take the plus money it's it's almost pretty much a coin flip game so might as well take the plus money on calgary uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a barn burner though. Pittsburgh is a little more rested. Uh, they have a depleted lineup, but they seem to win a lot with a depleted lineup. They're putting DeSmith in because Jari didn't have a great game last game. And that seems what to be, they do seem to be doing that a lot. Oh, there's something else I need to see here because this is a back to back, right? Let's, let's see if I can get. Can you guys see this all right? Oh, you can't. Okay. Well, I'll take my word for it because I don't want to move the screen over right now. Uh, this is a back-to-back. -back. So it says Jacob Markstrom, but I am not sure about that. Uh, I, th I think it could be Vladar here. So watch out for that, although Vladar has been playing well. Did they play the Ladar last night? Let's take a look. Oh, sorry, they didn't play last night. It isn't a back to back. It's four games and six, but they had a day off in between. So. I then it's going to be Markstrom. Yeah, I'm going to go for Calgary. I'm going to take Calgary on that. Uh, and I will. Oh, I bet I can't tell you that. I got two big picks on that. I can't tell you the total on this one. I have a total on this one too, but um, not going to give it out. Arizona, Tampa Bay. I cannot tell you about that game. Um, I have picks for both sides, so I can't really talk about it. Um, Colorado St. Louis, I can give you a I can give you a, a total on this. I have a pick for the line. And uh, I think I'm gonna go over five and a half. Just a lot of scoring on both sides. St. Louis has been scoring at will. 
pretty much recently. So I'm going to go over. Colorado's been playing a lot better. This is going to be a, a really fun game to watch. Uh, Buffalo versus Anaheim. I haven't put a pick on this one yet. I've been kind of stewing over this one and what I want to do. Um, Anaheim has been playing just better and better every game. Buffalo, of course, has been surprising a lot of people, but they also have been outplayed quite a bit. They've been relying on Anderson a lot. Um, I imagine Gibson will be in that here. I'm going to go, I'm going to go Anaheim. Anaheim money line, and I think I have to fade the total for you because I'm pretty sure that's going to be a paid pick. Uh, Seattle, Minnesota, I cannot talk about this game. I have a one for both. Uh, Vancouver, Philadelphia, this one's tough. I can give you a pick on this. Uh, I've been watching this. Uh, I, I've been waiting for this game. Philadelphia on a back-to-back, -back, beat Edmonton last night. Edmonton took it easy on him in the third. So they didn't really waste a lot of energy with that. Uh, and Vancouver's defense has been absolutely awful. Just awful. The problem is Jones will be in net for Philadelphia. Uh, because Carter, Carter Hart played against Edmonton. And Demko in for Vancouver. There's a lot of like plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. I think I'm going to go Philadelphia money line now. It's... Uh, again, it's uh, it's kind of a coin flip game. I really don't like the way Vancouver is playing, and Philadelphia's energy seems to be really good. Cam Atkinson, woo! So he got like seven goals already this year. Incredible. Uh, but I think I'm going to go Philadelphia. I don't like going on back-to-back -back games, but I'm really not big on Vancouver right now. And what's the total on that? Five and a half? No, sorry. Six. I think Philadelphia is going to be a little tired. They're going to play a very defensive game against Vancouver. That's the best way to beat Vancouver. They don't want to get into a uh, slugfest with Vancouver, not to mention they have Jones in that. So I'm going to go under six on that game. You can get it. There you go. You got an under. And you get double on that. Uh, Winnipeg versus Los Angeles, and Los Angeles is just hurt all over the place. Walker, Dowdy on defense. Um, but Winnipeg has really been disappointing me. Uh, they they beat Anaheim. Uh, I can't remember. Let's see what the matchup. Let's see the matchup on this one. Probably got some time. Yeah, they got – see, they, they do the score up there. Uh, so, and you know what? They're not very good. <laughs> They're usually wrong quite a bit. Uh, yeah, look at this. Their last 10, they're 500 against each other uh, for the trends. Um, under is usually the – seems to be the play as far as trends are concerned. Um, but injuries. Wheeler is uncertain for that game. But look at L.A. Got Walker – uh, Elias Anderson, Doughty. I'm really on the fence on this game. Because Winnipeg is just hasn't found the consistency yet. I believe Peterson should be playing. All right, I'm going to take Winnipeg. As you can tell, I'm like, when I do these, I'm sort of, I'm really, I've already mulled it over, but I'm having a difficult time with these picks because uh, you're getting wet. And I'm going to go over, over five and a half, I guess. It's again, it's right on the dot. It could be either way. It's a coin flip. So I'll take Winnipeg, money line, and the over. Montreal Canadiens versus the San Jose Sharks. Now, the San Jose Sharks are on their first game back after a really long road trip. And normally, I would not take a team for their first game back from a long road trip because there's it's you get home you it's like a, a a relaxed time. It's like it's over the road trip's over. You kind of go, "Ah, you see your family and uh you feel like you're, you know, it's like a break almost, and then you got to get back into it again. But the thing is with San Jose, 
the energy is totally different with this team. I, I since Kane left, I, I see a sense of urgency in their game. They're focused. Uh, uh, Bugner has kind of said, okay, let's show what we can do now without Kane here. Um, he, he's bringing a positive, happy energy, but a direct energy. The last game they played, um, I do believe it was against Minnesota. I think it was. Uh, but their third period was their best period. And that was after a five-game road trip, five or six-game road trip. They were tired. That tells me that there's, this is a team that has a, a sense of determination. And, of course, Montreal, we know what's been going on there. I, I'm not sure that they're going to be able to get it together. So this is probably a paid pick. I'm probably giving this out as a paid pick. But I'm going to take the San Jose Sharks. I can't give you on a total because I know I got a paid pick on that. Uh, but I, I'm going to give you a paid pick here, the San Jose Sharks. Tell me in the comments section... What uh, what you what you've been doing? What did you what did you pick last night? How'd you do? What do you pick here? Would you agree with what I'm saying? Do you not agree with what I'm saying? Remember to sub up, sub. I'm trying to get to a thousand uh, followers. We can get to a thousand followers if you touch that sub button. The, I get to a thousand. Guess what? YouTube starts giving you a little scratch, so I can keep on doing this fine for all. I can bring you these great picks. Uh, and I'll send you a Pearls of Wisdom necklace right to your door. Helen, can you send them a Pearls of Wisdom necklace, please? I know you got them, she's got them all knitted up there. And uh, yeah, give it to uh, Hernandez and Melissa, and they're going to send it to you on your Pearlocopter. Thank you very much for touching that sub button, hitting that like. That's my full 42K. Bye.